Hey guys, welcome back to Outside of Shy. As you can see in front of me here, my new hitch came today. So we're gonna install this sucker. <clears throat> it's made by Kurt, made in the USA. So if you stick with me, we'll get right to it. All right, what we got here is a class five hitch by Kurt. The Kurt XD, extra duty. Sixteen thousand pounds trailer weight to twenty four hundred pounds tongue weight. Seventeen thousand pounds if you have a weight distribution system, and it's still twenty four hundred pounds tongue weight. So before we install this bad boy, we gotta get that off. As you can see here, the hitch itself was mounted to the bumper support with two bolts. When this part gave way because of rust and old age, the whole hitch twisted. This here is one side of the hitch. You can see how it twisted like a pretzel. This here is the other mounting part for the hitch itself. So it is mounted to the frame and the bumper support itself. Just that this part of the bumper support that holds this was rusted so bad that it broke away. So I'm gonna remove the bumper first, so just so I can actually see if there's any more damage other than just the bumper support and the hitch. So I'm gonna do that right now. Now there's three bolts on each side for the bumper and the two bolts on the hitch. So, let me get these out first. Go the right direction. One. Go to the other side over here and get that one. I'm not going to lie, I did break these loose before I went at it just so I didn't have so much anger on the video. So those first two were the 15 millimeter. These next four are 18 millimeter. But there's a wiring harness that's connected to the bumper, so I gotta be careful not to damage that. Now these you're gonna have to reuse unless they give me new ones with the bumper, but we'll see. There it is, bumper's off. Like I was saying, it twisted here and on the other side. It actually started tearing on this side a little bit. So I got pretty lucky. All right, let's get this bad boy off. Only two more bolts. Alright, got some pressure there. There 
she is. There. Now you can see it in the light. You see that side was starting to tear. Alright guys, got the hardware kit. Instructions are in here also. They give you these flat pieces of metal with the square in. Basically to keep the bolt from turning while it's up in there. You got your shot of the instructions here, so you know what I'm doing. All right, guys. Bumper came today. It's a new day, obviously. Slide this out of the way. Get up under here and uh, check the torque on these back four bolts for the hitch. Those two are good. Those two are good.
Alright guys, as you can tell, new bumper on, new hitch is on, went fairly smoothly. The hitch was actually a little easier to install than a bumper. The bumper was kind of a pain in the butt by yourself, but we got her done, we're ready to haul some wood. There you go guys, I'm ready to haul this bad boy around some more, get some wood. Uh, don't take this as an instructional video. That is not what it is. It's basically, I repaired my truck from hauling this full of wood. Now I know I've hauled way heavier loads with my truck than what was on this trailer. So all you guys with say a 2005 and older truck, take this as a safety of use message and be sure to check your truck out and make sure all your components are in really good shape before you hook a trailer up and try to haul a load that you've probably hauled a million times before. Just take the time, check your truck, just to be on the safe side. I got lucky. I mean, hopefully this doesn't happen to somebody else in a worser way. All you guys with older trucks, go ahead and check your towing components out make sure they're worthy of towing what you're going to put on the back of it that's all i got for today if you like this type of stuff go ahead and hit that subscribe button leave a comment down below hit that like and tell your friends i'll see you guys in the next one